if you find yourself in greed sign bunkers and you tend to handle maybe a certain distance okay, but if they're a little maybe the shorter or a little bit longer and you're struggling with um, either short bunker shots or longer bunker shots, I've got a simple tip here that you may not have thought um, to uh, employ when you're in the green side bunker. Now this assumes that you know how to play a basic bunker shot, so if you don't know how to play a basic bunker shot, check the channel um, here and uh, uh, make sure you watch a video on just basic bunker play. Um, but the suggestion would just be to use, think about using different clubs. Just because there's a club in your bag called the sand wedge doesn't mean that for every single sand shot you uh, need to go to the sand wedge. So with the wedges, um, you have a certain amount of loft on the club. So with a sand wedge, it might be something like this. With a lob wedge, the loft might be a little bit higher. With a gap wedge, the loft might be a little bit lower, or the pitching wedge might be lower, nine or eight. Um, the point is there's different lofts to the um, different clubs, of course. And what can happen, I think what I usually see is people struggle a little bit more with the longer ones. So to make the ball go the distance that you may need it to go with a sand wedge, oftentimes you're gonna to have to make a bigger swing. And when you make a bigger swing, it gets a little, can get a little bit more difficult to make a good uh, strike into the sand um, to pop the ball out. So what I think is a little bit easier is to uh, just go with a lower lofted wedge for those longer ones, or not even a wedge. You can, again, you can try like a nine or an eight or seven or six. Um, a Seve Ballesteros seems to get out with a, a three iron, for example. You can open the blades, open the, the club face on those, and if you squat down low enough, you can still get under those even with the three iron, provided that the club isn't, uh, doesn't have too thick of a sole here. So you need, it needs to be, to do it with like a three or four or five iron or something, you need to have a pretty thin soled club to be able to lay it down flat enough to, to, to play that shot. Um, and need to have a, um, uh, a lower amount of heel bounce to get the club to sit down as well. Now you probably aren't going to be using a three, four, or five, or probably even a six iron, probably even a seven iron, but on a, for a greenside bunker. But you might use an eight iron um, if you've got a little bit of a distance to get it back there. So the nice thing about that is you can, uh, again, you can still open it up, just play it like a normal bunker shot. You may have to lower yourself a little bit more, um, and then you can take the the uh, a smaller swing. Um, which can help you make uh, be a little bit more in control, a little bit more balanced in the sand on the uneven surface there, and and you'll get the more distance out of it um, versus having to make a big, huge swing with a sand wedge. And similarly, going the other way, if you've got a really short bunker shot and you aren't uh, don't you seem to struggle getting your sand wedge um, to uh, go high enough or to come out and stop in time to get to the flag there. Uh, you might use a lob wedge or, or uh, uh, like a 60 degree or even higher, 60, one, two, three, or four degree wedge. Um, that can help get a little bit more height as well. So I guess the main point in this is it's a simple thing to do, to, to use a simple concept, simple idea to use different clubs. But a lot of people I, I find just don't think about that. They automatically go straight to the sand wedge. It says sand wedge on it. So um, you think like, oh, that's the club I got to use, but that's really not the case. So you can use different clubs of different lofts to help achieve different distances uh, with a, a, a smaller swing, I guess um, you could say, to, in particular with those longer green side bunker shots. So hop in a bunker, grab your a bunch of different irons, maybe eight to lob wedge. Um, just try hitting some bunker shots and see what happens, see how far they go. Um, and then uh, learn, uh, take that feedback in and, and get a sense of what the different clubs do so that when you get out in those situations on the course, um, you can maybe pick a little bit uh, club that can 
help you more easily um, achieve uh, the distance that you want the ball to go um, more consistently for those green side bunker shots. Give those things a try. Um, play around with it. Have fun. Enjoy. And uh, um, but hopefully you'll be playing those a little bit better. <laughs>